Hello, my name is Sarah Duong. I am a project manager and consultant at Concentris. Today, I want to show you how to release restricted funds from donations in the non-for-profit environment inside of NetSuite. So the first thing I want to show you is an invoice. Um, an invoice is representative of a donation from um, a constituent. A couple of things I want to show you is in the invoice, you want to mark it restricted. You want to note the program and you also want to identify the grant. Okay, This will show up in reporting and it will follow your donations and it will also follow your expenses associated with a specific grant. Now, we are going to go to um, this page here, this search or report, which you go from NFP Financial Center, you go to financials, and it's called Revenue to Release from Restriction. So this is a summary by program, by grant, and by region if you want. And it will sum up all the funding, which is all the invoices and donations. It will show you what's been restricted for future use. So this is restriction by time. And what's already been released against it, any expenses that have been associated with this particular grant and program. Okay. And over here, you'll see the revenue available for release. All right. So what I want to show you here, this second line is the invoice you just saw for $100,000. And I just released 25 of that. So what that means is this 25 is eligible to be used towards any expenses associated with this grant and program. How I did that was I went to, um, again, NFP Financial Center. I went to financials and I went to um, restriction, uh, restriction release transaction. Okay. This is the particular transaction I did to release that 25. What you do is you take the account that that um, invoice was for the GL account and you moved it, okay? Um, and basically you're moving it from restricted to unrestricted. Okay. And note, it's very important in this transaction that you know the grant and program because um, this is how the report will consolidate everything. Okay, so there is one particular trick about this. The native report here has a little bit of a glitch here with the revenue available for lease, release. Um, so you'll see here that it is showing 50 um, still available for release, even though it should show 75 at this point. There's one um, adjustment you can make. I just changed to a different search where I've made an adjustment. And you can see now that the test grant release um, that we have a $100,000 invoice for and that we just released um, 25, that means we have 75 available. When I go to edit the search, I go to results. And in this last line, in this formula, what I had to do was I added the NBL to exclude any blanks in the debit amount. So you can go ahead and do that and it will um, show you the correct calculation for what's available for release. Thank you for watching. That is a quick, short and sweet of how to release restricted funds um, for use of expenses.